Seven months ago, I released a video on six of the best quantum computing stocks to buy now. If you had invested then, here's what happened. These stocks have moved dramatically, with some delivering triple-digit gains in just months. And that's not surprising, because the quantum computing industry itself is accelerating fast. According to market research, the global quantum computing market was valued at just $1.8 billion in 2023, but it's projected to grow at a CAGR of over 30%, reaching nearly $9 billion by 2030. This is a sector that could completely reshape industries from AI to finance to pharmaceuticals. Today, I'll show you how each of those stocks has performed since my last video, the biggest updates in the quantum space, and most importantly, whether it's time to buy, sell, or hold. To celebrate this community reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a free guide on spotting breakout stocks. You'll find the link in the description below. Quick reminder, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Investing in stocks carries risk, so always do your own research before making decisions. Let's start with D-Wave Quantum, ticker QBTS. About seven months ago, this stock was trading at just $5.56 per share. Fast forward to today, it's sitting at roughly $26.88. That's a gain of more than 380% in under a year the kind of move that makes people sit up and start paying attention. So, what's been driving this massive surge? A few things. First, macro tailwinds. With the Fed hinting at rate cuts, speculative growth names like D-Wave have been some of the biggest beneficiaries. Add in renewed investor interest in quantum tech as the next big wave, and you've got the perfect recipe for momentum. But beyond hype, there's substance. D-Wave has been rolling out its new Advantage 2 system, and it's starting to make waves globally. In fact, APAC bookings jumped 83% thanks to early deployments and strong demand from conferences and enterprise partnerships. That's proof that their technology is gaining real traction outside the lab. Now here's the caution flag. The company is still burning through cash, reporting consistent losses quarter after quarter. Non-cash charges and warrant-related liabilities are weighing on their books, which raises questions about dilution risk down the line. Analysts also warn about overvaluation with the stock up nearly 400%. Expectations are sky high, and any stumble could send shares tumbling. Bottom line, D-Wave has delivered one of the most explosive runs in the entire quantum space, and the story is stronger than it was seven months ago. If you're a risk-tolerant investor, this could still be a buy or at least a hold to see if advantage to adoption continues to scale. But remember, this is a high-volatility speculative play. You don't go all in here. You size it smart. For investors already holding D-Wave, this looks like a hold the stock has strong momentum, but valuation is running hot. It makes sense to ride the wave, yet be cautious of the risks if growth stalls. For new buyers, patience is key. Waiting for a meaningful pullback could offer a safer entry point instead of chasing current highs. Next is Rigetti Computing ticker symbol RGTI. Seven months ago, Rigetti shares were trading at just $8.05 and today the stock sits near $28.52. That's a jaw-dropping plus 254% return in barely half a year, the kind of move that turns heads even in a volatile sector like quantum computing. This surge highlights the intense speculative energy that's been flooding into quantum plays, and Rigetti has been one of the standout beneficiaries. Much of the excitement stems from its progress on the Anka series processors, which are designed to deliver higher qubit counts and improved error correction, two of the biggest hurdles in making quantum systems commercially useful. On top of that, Rigetti's strategy of offering its systems through cloud platforms has opened up accessibility for developers and enterprises, making it easier for more users to test and adopt their technology. Institutional money has also started trickling in, with Rigetti now showing up in more quantum and advanced tech indices, helping boost visibility and liquidity. Still, the risks are impossible to ignore. Rigetti continues to burn through cash at a rapid pace, and while revenue growth is improving, it remains a fraction of what's needed to support long-term operations. Losses remain heavy, and the timeline from R&D breakthroughs to real commercial contracts is still uncertain. On the charts, the stock's sharp run has technical analysts warning of a potential blow-off top, which means volatility and big swings both up and down could define its next moves. In short, Rigetti has been one of the hottest speculative names of 2025, delivering outsized gains that few expected. But investors should temper their enthusiasm with caution. 
dilution, execution risk, and the long road to profitability are all major overhangs. For those with a high risk tolerance, Rigetti offers exciting upside, but it's far from a safe bet. That said, Rigetti still has room to run for those seeking a true high-risk, high-reward quantum play. The upside potential is enormous if its technology gains traction, but so are the risks if execution falters. This isn't a stock to build your portfolio around, it's a speculative buy, not a core holding. Investors should size positions carefully and be ready for volatility. Back in January, IonQ was trading at just $24.57 and today it's sitting near $70.41, an impressive plus 186% gain in only seven months. That kind of move puts it among the strongest performers in the entire quantum sector, and it isn't just hype driving the stock. IonQ has carved out a reputation as the pure play leader in trapped ion quantum hardware and software, setting itself apart from smaller peers by winning both enterprise clients and government contracts. This dual positioning has helped cement IonQ's credibility, turning it into one of the go-to names for investors who want exposure to practical quantum computing. Recent financial results reinforce that strength. The company reported revenue more than doubling year over year, fueled by defense-related deals and high-profile partnerships with Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Those alliances give IonQ distribution reach and technical validation that most rivals can only dream of. Analysts or Sir Cibes, like D.A. Davidson, have doubled down on bullish calls, pointing to IonQ's ability to scale trapped ion systems with fewer errors than superconducting competitors, a critical advantage as quantum workloads grow more complex. Of course, not everything is perfect. The company is still unprofitable, and its valuation is stretched relative to its revenue base. While cash burn has improved, it's still significant, and investors need to monitor how efficiently IonQ can convert its tech progress into commercial wins. From a technical standpoint, the stock has been in a strong uptrend, with support building in the mid-$60s, but momentum indicators suggest it may be running hot and due for a breather. Bottom line, IonQ has quickly become one of the clearest leaders in the race toward practical quantum computing. It combines government backing, cloud partnerships, and superior trapped ion architecture into a powerful growth story. But with great expectations comes equally high risk. If execution slips, the stock could see sharp pullbacks. For long-term believers, though, IonQ remains one of the most compelling names in the sector. If you invested in quantum computing ticker symbol QUBT seven months ago, when it was trading at just $6.19, fast forward to today, and it's sitting near $23.27, delivering an astonishing plus 276% gain in less than a year. That kind of move has turned QUBT into one of the most talked about speculative plays in the quantum computing space. The rally has been fueled not only by the broader wave of quantum hype, but also by the company's bold announcements around quantum photonics integration and its efforts to expand partnerships across industries. At the heart of its pitch is the Quantum as a Service platform, designed to make quantum computing resources available to businesses without the need to invest in their own costly infrastructure. This democratization narrative has struck a chord with growth-hungry investors who see QUBT as a gateway for smaller firms to tap into the power of quantum computing. It's a big vision, and Wall Street has rewarded the story with momentum-driven buying. But here's the reality check. QUBT's fundamentals remain shaky. The company is generating less than $2 million in annual revenue, and quarterly losses remain heavy. Analysts have consistently flagged the stock as valuation-rich, with much of its price action tied more to speculative sentiment than underlying performance. Adding to that risk, QUBT has a history of issuing new shares to raise cash, so dilution remains a major overhang. Technically, the stock behaves like a textbook high beta microcap. It delivers jaw-dropping rallies but every spike comes with the risk of brutal corrections. Support tends to reset lower after each run, making it a roller coaster for anyone holding long-term. Bottom line, for those already in the stock, QUBT is a hold ride the momentum if you can stomach volatility, but be mindful of the risks. For new investors, it's best to wait for a pullback rather than chasing these highs. At its core, QUBT remains a high-risk slash high-reward speculative play appealing for believers in the long-term quantum story, but far from a safe bet.
Next is ticker symbol QCOM. Seven months ago, Qualcomm stock was trading at $161.22. Today, it sits around $166.85, representing a modest plus 3.5% gain over that stretch. Compared to the parabolic runs we've seen from speculative names like Rigetti, RGTI, or Quantum Computing Inca issues, QUBT, Qualcomm's move looks tame, but that's exactly the point. While the pure play quantum names swing wildly, Qualcomm offers something they can't stability, scale, and consistent profitability. As a semiconductor giant, Qualcomm generates billions annually from mobile chips, 5G infrastructure, automotive systems, and IoT. This diversified revenue base cushions it against the high-risk, high-burn environment most quantum startups face. While its role in quantum isn't front and center, the company is actively researching next-gen chip architectures and AI-driven processors, key building blocks that could one day support practical quantum systems. In other words, Qualcomm is less about a moonshot and more about being a long-term enabler of the computing revolution. Over the past year, its fundamentals have remained solid a strong balance sheet, consistent free cash flow, and a dividend yield north of 2% that appeals to income investors. Analysts see additional upside into 2026, with estimates tied to continued 5G adoption, AI chip demand, and growth in high-performance computing markets. Unlike QUBT, which is still scrambling to prove it can generate sustainable revenue, Qualcomm has decades of execution behind it. For investors building a quantum basket, Qualcomm serves as the anchor stock, the stabilizer that balances out the hyper-speculative upside of players like IonQ, Rigetti, and QBT. It's not going to deliver a 10x in a year, but it can provide steady gains while paying you to wait through dividends. Buy slash sell slash hold sentiment. For long-term investors, Qualcomm is a buy, especially if you're looking for exposure to next-gen computing without riding the roller coaster of pure-play quantum stocks. It may not light up your portfolio overnight, but it's a core holding that blends quantum potential with real-world stability. Out of the five names we've reviewed today, the clear standout right now is IonQ, IonQ. With its rapid revenue growth, unique trapped ion technology, and deep partnerships with Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, it's positioned as the most credible pure play in the space. Rigetti, RGTI, is a close second its processors and hybrid quantum classical approach give it speculative 10x potential if execution continues. But IonQ looks best set up for the next 12 to 24 months, balancing upside with real contracts and a growing customer base. Now it's your turn. Which of these quantum names are you holding? Do you think any of them can 10x by 2026? Drop your thoughts in the comments I read every one. If you found value in this breakdown, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to bring you the best stock market research every week.